everyone, I'm Kate Schwenke and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a new unboxing and review for you guys for the Bissell Crosswave all-in-one multi-surface upright vacuum. And I have actually a lot of high expectations for this particular product. I purchased this on my own in hopes that it would solve all of my problems with mopping. <laughs> we have a lot of hardwood in our house and a lot of tile and the tile is the worst to keep clean especially with three boys. I have three little boys and then I also have my husband. So that's a lot of boys to keep up with and a lot of dirt and a lot of food on the floors and things like that. So I purchased this in high hopes that it would help a lot in conjunction with my Dyson V6 stick vacuum because I use that like crazy all day every day but it does not do what this one can do which is also be a wet vac. This particular item has almost five star ratings on Bed Bath & Beyond and on Amazon as well. And I will also leave a link for this particular item down in the description below for you guys. So if you decide after watching my review that you'd like to purchase this, then I would love if you would shop through my links. So before I get into the unboxing and building and review of the Crosswave, I wanna go over all the specs that it has on the box and that the website has to share with you guys. The website says, Keep cleaning simple with the Bitzel Crosswave all-in-one multi-surface upright vacuum. By both washing and vacuuming your floor at the same time, this vacuum will let you get your best clean without having to change your equipment. The multi-surface vacuum can both vacuum and wash floors at the same time. It has smart touch controls allowing you to switch between cleaning sealed hard floors and area rugs. You can control your solution with an on-demand solution trigger. It has a 12-inch cleaning pack. This particular box includes a multi-surface brush, a multi-surface cleaner, parking tray, wood floor brush, wood floor cleaner. It has a two-tank system that keeps cleaning the solution and dirty water separate. It has dual-action multi-surface brush roll that rotates at 3500 RPM using a microfiber and nylon brush to mop while you also pick up dry debris. The cord it comes with measures at 25 feet. The vacuum weighs at 11.6 pounds and it has a two-year manufacturer's warranty. Okay, so let's go ahead and unbox this. I've seen it in the store because I actually purchased this at Bed Bath & Beyond. There's actually two different models. Um, they basically, they do the exact same thing, but this one actually comes with an extra brush, an extra solution, um, and I think that might be it. But I mean, an extra brush and an extra solution are a pretty good bonus. So, see here on top, we have the manual, the user guide, and it looks like a quick start guide, so that's probably what I'm gonna use as the quick start guide. I'm gonna need this for while I'm building this, and I'm also going to be speeding up the process of me building this because sometimes it can take me a while, so let's go. where all the dirty water is kept, I believe, or it might be where you keep all the clean water. It says formula, there's a formula line and a water line for the small area. And then what you do first, because I've watched some videos, is you fill it up with water first and then you fill it however much is left to the formula line. So that's what I'm going to show you guys today before I start get going on cleaning. So that is the tank. Here's the main body. Looks nice though. So this should be really straightforward to put together. It's freestanding. Hallelujah. All right. Put this tag off. This is super simple to put together. All right. Next round. Click. All right, so it's basically done. This part here clicks right into the back of the vacuum. So like that, click. All those clicks are good sounds and literally all I need to do now is just plug it in and get started. Okay, so there's also a brush already in it. So you have the brush that is already in it plus these two. So also, if you guys want to buy these separately, because I'm sure eventually one of these will get gunky or need replacing, they do sell them separately on the Bissell website and probably even on Amazon. So I'll leave all that, all the links down below for you guys. So 
Let's go ahead and fill this up and get started. I am super excited to try this out. So I have the water tank here and what I'm going to do is I'm only going to fill it up to the small area water line right here. All you have to do is unscrew the cap, fill it up with water to the appropriate line. Okay, I filled it up to the water line. In fact, I think it went a little too far, so I'm gonna dump a little bit out. I'm gonna make sure I get the right amount of solution in there. All right, so that looks pretty good. I'm going to take my multi-surface cleaning solution because I'm still just going to leave the multi-surface brush in there. I wanna do my hardwood floors. I wanna do my tile and things like that today. So I'm just going to fill this up to the formula line. It actually doesn't take that much to do that. So I filled it up to the formula line, screw the cap back on, and I'm ready to put this into the vacuum. So I'm going to take my solution and just pop it right in here until it clicks. So I have my clean water tank all full and ready to go. And then you also have your dirty water tank here. So anything that you suck up with the vacuum that's dirty will go in here. And then you also have your clean water that keeps dispensing. So it keeps your clean water separate from your dirty water. All right, so I'm going to try this for the very first time. <laughs> so what I read on the directions is that I need to click the hard floor button. That's a lot louder than I expected. <laughs> so this is not a quiet vacuum. Um, but what I'm supposed to do first is, I guess, press and hold the solution button for 10 seconds before I actually start vacuuming. So I'm hoping this doesn't wake up my son because he is taking a nap right now. <laughs> Here we go. just used it for about five minutes um, and from what I can tell it is definitely cleaning well because I went over the same spot a few times to get up one spot in particular and it did come up and then I went around the rest of this area a little bit and it cleaned it really really well so I'm really happy with that and I looked in the tank and there is dirty water in there so I know that it's sucking things up I also ran over some crumbs and some dust and things like that and that sucked it up no problem so i'm really excited to see what it's going to do for my tile so let's try that next so my kitchen is easily the dirtiest floors in the house i have a baby that eats in here and he throws food on the floor he drops his milk um, the kids come in and out of this back door and they track mud and grass and like everything um so this is the place that I am most excited to try out this new crosswave. So I'm going to go ahead and start, I think, by the back door here, which is where a lot of, there's a lot of like dirt stains and things. And I purposely did not clean my floors for a couple weeks so that I could try this out and see how good it is. So I'm going to go ahead and try that out first and I will kind of do a close up so you guys can see what it's doing, okay? Okay, you guys should be able to see a lot of stains that are down there. Um, so hopefully this will show you when I do it, <laughs> how well it vacuums all this up. I also have like a couple of hairs and things down there. I'm kind of curious to see how well this vacuums that up too. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started here.
I did want to show you guys something because this vacuum is working very, very well on my tile. You have to go a little slower, but I mean, who mops super fast anyways if you want to get all the gunk off? So I wanted to show you guys something because I can see it from here, um, a difference between the tile color. So I'm going to show you guys real quick. So hopefully you guys can see that well. You can see a clear difference between where I mopped here and where I didn't mop. So there's a clear layer of dust or dirt or whatever right there. Um, and then there's the clean tile. So it's doing a really good job. I'm impressed. I did want to show you guys a close up real quick of how well this vacuum can clean up this dirty spot that's on the floor here. And I don't even know what that is. It's probably like old milk or somebody dropped something that was sticky. I'm not sure, but um, we're going to get it. So here we go. vacuuming part of my living room and part of my kitchen area I used up all of that small area formula so I'm going to show you guys how much yucky stuff came out of this thing so this is all the nasty stuff that I got off my floors in just that brief period of time so I'd say this thing is working really, really good, you guys. All you have to do to empty out all the nasty, dirty water and all the debris that you picked up from your floors is lift this lid off. I'm gonna just lay that down for a second and just dump this into the sink. So that was a lot of nasty stuff, but um, I'm really glad that's not on my floors anymore. <laughs> so put that right back on top. You can go ahead and do your next set. Next, we're gonna try out the cross wave onto carpet. So, um, wish me luck. I'm hoping I'm doing this right. So here we go. doing a really good job. It is a difficult thing to push on carpet, um, but I would like to see, I can definitely see that there's some debris down in there, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull this out real quick and check. Oh yeah, it definitely pulled up hair and um, dirt and all kinds of things, so that actually works really well. And I didn't use any of the liquid or anything while I did this, I'm not even sure if you can do that, maybe, um, but that's not what I did today. So it works really well on carpet. It cleaned up all the hair and stuff. And something else that I really like is that I don't think it really gets the hair wrapped around the bar too much. So that's a really good thing too. So now that I've tried it on all three surfaces, let's go ahead and talk about my pros and my cons. Okay, you guys, you just saw me vacuum over carpet, hardwood, and tile with this vacuum. And overall, I love it. And I think for the price, it's an amazing buy. So the pros about this vacuum is that, number one, it's not that big of a vacuum. It doesn't take up much space, so that's good. Number two, of course, it's a multi-surface all-in-one vacuum. You can use it on the hardwood floors, carpet, and tile. Tile was like my big thing. Um, I hate, hate cleaning my kitchen. It is one of my biggest pet peeves ever because it gets so dirty and I usually have to get down on my hands and knees and clean. Um, this kind of pretty much eliminates me having to do that. So that is huge for me. I love the 25 foot cord. That allows you to get a lot of spaces in the house without having to unplug and plug back in. I love that there's a hardwood floor brush and a multi-surface brush. 
For me personally, using the multi-surface brush everywhere is just fine. If you're just having hardwood floors in your house, then that is a great tool to use by itself. You don't have to switch it up. I really don't have too many bad things to say about this vacuum. I think overall it's an amazing vacuum. I love it. Um, my two cons, I think I really only have two. Number one, I don't really like how it goes through the solution so quickly because I'm sure that over time, the price of the solution is going to add up and up and up. It does come in a bigger bottle that you can buy so that you don't go through it as quickly. If you're not mopping all the time, I don't see it. It could be not a big deal for you guys. I have a very large area to vacuum slash mop. Um, so I think I'm gonna go through solution pretty fast. The other thing was it was a little difficult to vacuum over carpet, but as I mentioned earlier, I'm not going to really be using this on carpet because I have an amazing Dyson V6 vacuum that I use all the time and I love it. So I'm going to stick with that as my vacuum vacuum and this as my wet vac because this thing is a beast. I love it. it cleaned all of this area here like it's shiny and beautiful now the hardwood floors and the parts that I did in my kitchen look like night and day there are a couple spots that I was not able to pick up because it was like dried on food but I did read in the manual that if you use the rug button to clean those spots they will come up so I'm definitely gonna try that later but guys that overall is my review and I hope it was helpful for you and informative and if it was please give it a big thumbs up and definitely subscribe while you're here once again I will leave links for this particular vacuum down in the description below for you guys and I hope you'll shop through those links thanks for watching